Hey all, this is Urs. Welcome back to XCOM. Well, it's this damn mission again. Looks like the uh, flanking screw up that cost Saint about seven of his hit points is finally fixed. Oh, a lot of good that's gonna do me at this point. My biggest problem is still this guy out here. I'm gonna try to put some rounds on him and hope that he dies horribly. We do at least. Oh, yeah. Manana. Alright, well, that was awesome. I was gonna put a couple rounds on him, but she decided just to up and kill the bastard. Okay. No worries. This guy's still a problem, obviously. Uh, Hank has got a little bit of a no-no position that he's in the middle of. We gotta get Hank alive. Good thing about a couple things here is that we have a mech to clear up the suppression on the Thin Man. But that's really not, not a priority for me. I mean, it is... Okay, let me rephrase that. It kinda is a priority. It's just that Leif really doesn't need to worry about the suppression so much, because he can just hit this guy for 98%. I mean, I guess, if you want to be absolutely safe, we can do something different. But for now, let's, uh, yeah, you know what, let's kill that Thin Man. Why not? Let's kill the Thin Mans, and then we can move and kill the Outsider there. We need to eliminate this guy. He's sitting around the corner here like a punk ass, so we're gonna depunkify him real quick. Uh, namely with lots and lots of guns. Where are you actually stationed? Are you actually standing there like an idiot? I think you are. I'm not entirely certain. He's definitely not on this edge, I don't think. That'd be weird. Let's check this out. Hold on. Yeah, Thin Man's on that side. Exactly. It's a big old gun type mech thing. Uh, since you can't get over, kill that guy. We'll trust everyone else to do that for us. You're gonna go over here and clear up the problem that Hank's facing, on the moon. which is distinct lack of safety from that guy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right there. See that Thin Man? No more Thin Man. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoopsie! Looks like you guys screwed up, son. 16 crit will do that to you. So we need a couple options here. Zhang has a bit of firepower he can leverage against this fellow. Leif is in a little bit of trouble, I'll be honest with you. I'm not too happy about his chances right now. Uh, Hanks are kind of in the similar vein. So we're going to move in a little aggressively here. Position confirmed with uh, Maximus, Maximus. And we're gonna move this way here with Hank so you get to cover. We'll have a snapshot off of Hank too on this guy too if need be. So let's start working this. Saint, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do with, in all honesty. We're gonna try something though. Leif, get over here and do some work. Eight crit, not bad, not bad at all. Can we do some more? Uh, not effectively. We can try and hit with Samir. 53. I've seen worse. And I've seen better. That happens. Oh boy, that just happened. We have... We could potentially try to really scare this dude. With Dog 100. But even on a crit, that stutter gun's not going to do it. I could try to rocket this. I don't think it's going to do enough damage, though. If I scatter a little bit, I'm going to hit Leif, which would suck. On the upshot, we still have Zhang to drop some bombs on this guy, which we're going to promptly utilize that for. Zhang, can you kill this mofo? Thank you. Not a problem anymore. Indeed, not a problem anymore. All right, so we're not going to sit in the Thin Man's Odoo Thin Man. We're going to sit back here, probably set up in case that guy moves out. He's gonna, not going to want to go past the mech, I'm thinking. That should be the last thing active on the map. Yeah, this was... This is a hell of a breach. It didn't quite go according to plan the first time. Uh, Hank, what do your aim look like? You look like a 58% crawled out and bit you in the ass. You know what I'm going to do, buddy? I'm going to get you alive, and I'm going to get you in here, because there's nothing else that can hit you. Will do. Good. All right, we got to keep our snipers safe. That's job one. My Let's way get Dog100 watching this corner in case that guy comes around. That bomb is still like, I'm a bomb, I'm a bomb, look, 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 I'm a bomb. And it's like taking in the corner, but we'll do it. We'll get you. We'll get you, little bomby boy. We'll get you. Oh, that's not cover for some reason from that guy. Yeah, because it's a ladder. God forbid we use that as cover. All right. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is Saint is get up here so we can execute that uh, that last outsider with a quickness. And we'll see what this guy does. I guess he's going to shoot the mech. Yeah. You're an asshole. So, our mech got a little injured from that, but we should be able to clean this punk up. You know, straight no chaser at this point. This is going to be more or less K 
calculable. So let's do, where can Saint move safely to kill this guy? Uh, do we have any other shots in this in case this doesn't go right? Mm, maybe. We could also potentially command the mech to do this, but Saint can go anywhere he needs to, so that's fine by me. Okay. Mechie Poo, go here and kill this bastard for me, please. He offends my sight. Uh, yeah, that'll work just fine. Nice. Alright, Saint, clean this up. I don't want to have to look at that thing anymore. I wonder if we can Hank that last shot. A little bit of vengeance, because I know Saint can clean it up. Let's give Hank a little bit of payback. What's up, buddy? Yeah, Hank wanted payback. I just kind of felt like giving it to him. It was necessary. Everything by the numbers. Ha! Oh, by the numbers, huh? Thanks, Bradford. That's really that's really encouraging. It's by the freaking numbers. Oh boy. What a mission. What a mission. I honestly don't think it would have been that scary, uh, had we not had that massive weird this wall is not a wall situation. But the efforts of our troops, you know, Commander. Ugh. Recovering this meld substance is crucial to our scientific crucial, pursuits. Crucial, yes. Hank is now Master Sergeant, which means in the zone. So what he's been made for, finally. You've lived up to your promise, Hank. You made it to Master Sergeant. Now try not to die. Zhang is now Master Sergeant. Ah. Uh, you know, Zhang's one of the few people I would almost consider putting rapid fire on. Just because he's already so damn tanky. Um... But, I mean, extra conditioning, is just, it's just so good. More aim, more will, his aim is a little low, a little more mobility. I mean, EC is so good, let's just keep everyone tanky. We're doing enough damage as it stands. We'll save our other units for that. His Sentinel Overwatch is something to be gloried about. I'm just gonna keep him tanked up. I mean, it, it makes sense to me. I want him to be an angry, angry man. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Uh, this is all good, I like the corpses, that's nice, I can sell them. 168 alien alloys. It was a long mission. It was a tough mission. But we got what we needed. And that was really the most important thing. So let's go to the gray market. And sell the broken things. Because we can't keep them anyway. Oh, only 15 creds. Oh, well, it's alright. Uh, yeah. 15 credits. Thank you. But 168 alloys. That is going to be a boon to us. 343. Oh, I can almost taste what I want to build. There's a lot of things. Uh, so far, so good, though. We're going to have to keep an eye out on South America and Asia this month. Not abandoning North America, obviously. We're going to have to shift some stuff out. Probably South America over, depending on how things go. But let's hope we can at least get through this research without too much of an issue. Obviously, ah, uh, hi. Damn it, I want to, but I need the, I need every alloy I can get. What are you doing Contact again? Detected. Oh, this is the bombing run battleship trying to screw over Argentina. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. I can't do anything about that guy. New research. Advanced pulse lasers. And super capacitors is exactly what we've been waiting for. That's what we need. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's what I need. Heavy pulse rifle, blaster rifle, pulse lance, pulse sniper rifle, all that stuff that I really want. We do EMP weapons, which is cute, but not now. Um, alien propulsion is nice, but we're not gonna be able to afford them anytime soon. I think what I'm going to do is do some autopsies, just so we get VPT on all these ugly bastards, get the last psychic ability from the ethereal. Also may want to do alien operations. We will ultimately want to raid an alien base, and having this one ready will help me know how much the skeleton key actually costs. I'm going to wait until I have a couple more titan armor pieces to do that, but you know, we'll get there. Anyway, we're going to try to conserve alloys just a bit here. All these research require alloys. So let's go into, like, Sectobot obviously might not be bad. This might not be bad either. I feel like I need to start killing stuff sooner than I'm going to need to build one of these things. So let's go to Sectopod Autopsy and then work on the Ethereal Autopsy. Ethereal's scary, man, I gotta say. Sectopods are too. This heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, though we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. Creepy. Really, that's all you got, Valen. That's really all you got? Uh-huh. It's like a Space Marine Dreadnought or something. Anyway, the whole point is the Foundry, is the Supercapacitors. This is going to help us in the air so much. Oh, that's right. We had a reduced cost. I totally forgot. I was saving all this money, and I remember now we have cheaper um, 
foundry project costs for alloys and money, and I think Illyrium as well. Or is it just fragments and alloys? Either way, yes, please. UFO power sources, yeah, they're valuable, they're precious, but this needs to get done. ETA of 11 days, I'll take that, good sir. It looks like we have enough cash and alloys for another set of Titan armor, which I definitely want. I also, though, want to start building another mech up now that I have the meld. Now, that's not going to be cheap, granted. Uh, where is... The Let's go through this real quick. This is important. I'll make sure to uh -huh. as soon as is definitely want Titan. That's going to be a priority first. But then I, can, I need to get a mech 1 paladin up somewhere. And that's going to be valuable. That's 30 meld. And mech 2 defender is 60 again. So we have enough to run it, and I think Titan is exactly 8. <laughs> yeah, so we could technically start building this, assuming we had the cash. So I'll pull that cash together. Um, I want to be able to field two mechs relatively soon. One with the artillery support and one front line with the big gun. That'll be nice. I also probably want to start building some of these weapons that we just got. There's a lot of things I want right now, and I need a lot of cash for it. Uh, the upshot is, I mean, I also need the... The one thing I definitely absolutely need is the Pulse Lance. Which is for the mech. I need a bigger gun. I really do, especially from the frontline mechs. It's gonna be over here, isn't it? Yeah, laser lance. This is the no, the pulse lance. That's right. I'm like, that's too cheap. I need to pay more. And 30 mil is gonna take a chunk out of me. So it may be a little bit of time until we get this weapon up for the mech. We'll need some meld, basically, is the issue. Uh, let's build that Titan armor first, though. That's really the most important thing. If we can get more of these out in the field, our, all our troops are going to be better for it. So that's important. 11 days on the Titan armor. And I'm probably going to start building the second Mech 1 suit. And then the Mech 2 suit. That'll probably make sense. And then if we get the money, we'll scrape together for the, uh, the Pulse Lance. Mainly, the, the main limiting factor here, obviously, is going to be... Um, the, the meld, which we can get. We've been getting it pretty well, and they only seem to have a decent supply, so that doesn't seem to be in short supply. I could save the alloys for other stuff, but, you know, I do want another mech in the field regardless. It's 110 alloys. It'll be okay. We still have enough for another uh, mech suit if need be, and the uh, weapon at some point. We'll get more alloys, obviously, so I'm going to start building one of the mech suits right now. Uh, remember, you have to use the level 1 to get the level 2 mech, so we're going to sell some stuff we don't need to get to 150 creds. Uh, I guess fielding two mechs would be sick. Uh, where are we looking at? Uh, yeah, I got a lot of Thin Man Corps. I'm not going to be needing anytime soon. These guys, they're more like... We got like so many Thin Men on that mission, and they're kind of a dime a dozen. Uh, Sector Corps is apparently 24 credits a dozen, so not quite a dime. I guess they're more valuable. I'm kidding. But seriously, though. Uh, what else can we sell that's not going to piss me off? Definitely not. Um... We're running out of floater corpses. The brave new world will face yeah, Brave New World, Shen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep talking. Drone wrecks, are they useful for the, the tracking stuff, so I'm not going to get rid of those. Can we please ask for my Muton or Sectoid captives? I really have too many of those. I really would like to sell them into slavery. I mean, I mean, sell them for research. I mean, oh god, I'm breaking some Geneva. Do Geneva conventions apply to aliens? I'm not entirely certain. I don't know. But I also don't know what to sell, which is why I'm kind of... Hemming, hauling, or otherwise being annoying. Surgery's okay. They, I do have requests for this sometimes. Oh, the stasis tanks, too. We did the research already. I know certain parties do request this stuff. Uh, I'll sell one of them for now, and I'll save the rest for a rainy day, I guess. Engineering, why don't we build little something called Mech 1 Pally, and we'll get up to Mech 3. This time it's probably going to be Valiant toward mobility. So I we'll have one mobile mech, we'll have one attacky type mech. Need 400 credits for that. Eh, it'll come around eventually. Manufacture that one and we'll work on mech 2 once we have 400 credits. We'll see when that happens, but we'll get there. 60 meld. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Alrighty. Onward. Yeah. How bad did that increase the panic in Argentina? That's what I need to know. How bad? How bad? Uh, not bad. Argentina's pretty well defended. That's why I really want to send the alloys to the U.S., but I can't really afford it. I mean, I need to keep every one of those I can get my hands on. I need more Titan armors. I need more mechs. China Low Medium Raider. So this is going to be a satellite hunt. Uh, Alright, so obviously we don't have supercapacitors yet. But we should be able to get this down with some of our senior units. 
We do have a couple boosters still up, so we should be alright. I'm gonna put Major Poacher out. No, no, no. Colonel Salsa. Let's get Colonel Salsa to do some damage here. And hopefully this will work out the way I'm intending. Bangs out. Remember, no super passers yet. We gotta be a little careful. Hopefully we do some good damage. Not take too much in return. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, that was not bad at all. Let's see if we can get this guy down. We usually have two goes at this. I kind of want my senior guy... I mean, uh, this would be a great time to get a Phoenix Cannon up on aggro. Captain Pops could use a kill. He really could. And on aggro, now this is almost down. He could pretty much make it. Let me get Captain Pops out there. It's the best we're going to have, but I do think I need to start transferring ships to Asia. It looks like that's the new target. South America is yesterday's news. Come on, Captain Pops. I need you to get a kill for me. Engaging I need you to get a kill for me. Closing on target. Got him. Alien crew. That means we gotta get us some allies, baby! Hell yeah! Alright, let's get going. Uh, let me check one thing, though. Before we jump in, our hangar. How are we doing? Alright, so everyone from South America is already up. In case we get pushed really hard, you know, in case we get pushed really hard in Asia, I'm going to move Captain Pasha over. Doesn't seem like South America is a big issue right now. Transfer to Asia. I want to make sure this is all loaded down. I don't have any trouble if we start taking actual damage here. My super passer is going to be so much better. You have no idea. Armor, pen, and extra damage, and faster firing, and all that good stuff. Oh, can't wait. But anyway, I digress. We need to have a mission. We have a mission. It's a crash site. Let's get it done. Let's get her done. Oh, how much time do we need to wait our snipers? The ones that are in the sick bay. Three hours for a wolf. Yeah, that's good. That's a medium crash, so... Can't screw around too much. Natty Jander and Cherry Gazette are here, but we're not going to be doing as much damage as we normally do here. She's not a bad sniper, though. I mean, in all honesty, she's heading up toward VPT. She got damn good ground. She got snapshot. She got jumpy legs. It's not too bad. Is this what kind of mission is this? Heavy veg. Yeah, I'll take Kaze out. Um, might as well at this point. Let's see. Will we take a mech? We'll most definitely take a mech on this one. I think our Valkyrie could use a little more grease in the gears. Let me take Macon out. Let me see one thing on our abilities chart here. Yeah, we're waiting for, for that last bit. I'm starting to really wonder if I really should take Absfields instead. Our mech's a little squish-squish uh, without it, as you saw last mission. It took like, you know, 8 and 7 and 6, and I would reduce that even more. So, kind of feel like maybe I should do that. We're going to take Ray's support uh, medic slash commanding officer. You don't want to double up on infantry type units. Which means we need some explosives, and I think that's going to come from our engineer and our rocketeer combo. And we're going to take an arc thrower here. I think that makes sense. Sugar's got the nod. Um, who else can we take? Yeah. Rocket-wise, rocket wise, we're looking at probably Plank Bob. Really? Plank Bob is the only Rocketeer available here. Yeah, the rest of them we chop into archers. We need mech suits for that. We can wait for Meepy, technically. I would probably... I mean, I would take Mac, Mr. Plank Bob, obviously, sir. Yes, sir. He doesn't have baseline shredder. On a medium crash, I need more rockets with me than that. If it was a small crash, if it was a lighter mission, I'd probably take Plank Bob. I'm going to wait for just the right mission for him. So I think I'm going to wait for... What is it? What we say three hours or ten hours? Ten hours for Meepy to come out of the bay. I'm going to do that real quick. Give me some flexibility, too. That's good. Dane's back. Oh, wait, do we put people in the... Oh, do we put people in the Scilabs after that? We didn't. Oh, I wasted Scilab time. Crap. Uh, is there anyone to put in the Scilabs, actually? I didn't waste Scilab time. No, we're fine! Oh, I was about to yell at myself. But then I realized the issue was there's no one to put in there yet. For obvious reasons. Uh, yeah, everyone who wants to train is fatigued at the moment. Including Hanky Hank. And Samir. And, yeah, everyone's fatigued. Okay. So we'll get that done. Next Psychic Cycle will come up. Uh, is it really the only people we can put in? Can we not put someone? Nah, I'm gonna wait. It's like a day or so. I might as well do that. Sorry. I digress. But I'm planning, so there we go. That's what I want to see. Meepy. Okay. Now we're good to go. We can send the Sky Ranger. Yeah. Alright, Meepy, where you at, buddy? I need you right now. 
Uh, we got the support classes, we got the Valkyrie, we got the Sniper. We need a scout type unit to break Overwatch with their face bones, so... Probably Mammy. Yep, he just came out of that. Uh, you're getting right back in the field, buddy. You're the only scout we've got right now, apparently. Uh, and then... We need an Assault, and we need a Gunner type class. So Assault is going to be relatively easy. We have Master Sergeants aplenty. Knups need some more experience, so I think that's a good idea. How do we split you up? You got Resilience and Rapid Fire. And Ranger. Okay, so we're going to give you... Probably the pistol, not the heater. It's your movement. I mean, your movement's really good. Maybe we'll give him the heater. Imagine him with Sprinter. Good lord, this guy's gonna be an absolute beast. Gunner. Well, we could take Dane, we could take Ash, or we could take one of our younger gunners. I think it'll be a good time to get some of our younger gunners up. Though they'll really complement an archer-type mech really well with the flush. We can set the proxy and then flush. If it hits or not, we're gonna kill something. So I kind of feel like I want to save him for that. Uh, so I probably will do that, actually. Now we'll have more mechs running pretty much every mission. Uh, so it's either Ash or Dane. Dane could hit Master Sergeant. That'd be great. Up his Psychic Cred as well. We could get Ash for the ever-necessary... Hold on. Are you the one with the Shred? Yeah, see, like, for her, if we don't take a Rocketeer, I'd take her. So again, these are going to complement mechs a little better. So we're going to take we're gonna take Dane out on this. That'll be fine. Uh, I think that's just good as far as combinations of troops go, where our loadouts are. Alright, let's start with the easy loadouts first. Just now we're changing things constantly here. Rail cannon gun type thing, and flamethrower kinetic strike. Kinetic strike, alloy carbide, and just a little bit of core armoring to keep everyone nice and safe. Nice and cozy, locked into that crazy mech carapace we've got going on. Alright, uh, Mammy, load up. This is heavy veg, but... He is made for shotguns and hit and run, so with that flexibility in mind, where's the alloy cannon? There we go. Get me that Aegis on you. Oh, I'll have another set of Titans soon. I can't wait. Be beautiful. Uh, chitin plate and a motion track. Yay. Uh, and then we'll see what we can kit that out on later. Uh, Knupst, you're taking the Titan armor on for obvious reasons. Yeah, Sprinter's going to need to absorb that a little bit uh, eventually. You're going to take Breaching Ammo and Chitin Plate. Yeah, that's going to slow him down a bunch. We're definitely not giving him the heater. We're giving him a pistol. He can sling it like the best of them, but... All right, Dane, I need you to pop on Aegis. Uh, are you... Are, yeah, this is going to be longer range of a fight, so Gas Machine Gun will probably work fine. Because he has a lot of psychic power to work with also. Probably Illuminator and... AP's been working really nicely for us. Let's do that. Kaze has got Snapshot now, so no reason not to take the Gauss Long Rifle, except for the limited aim, obviously. But, uh, and how are you on hit points? Ah, you're okay with just Carapace, so that's alright. Not gonna screw up your movement anymore with the heater. Uh, Neural Gunlink for sure, and a Bipod, just to be safe. Ray. Uh, I'm trying to think of who to put the rest of the Aegis on. I'm gonna put in my Rocketeers, they tend to be squishy. They tend to get killed, so I need to keep them alive. Yeah, let's do that on Meepy there. And one more Aegis to go around. Ray's going to be in the back line anyway. So I'm going to put the other Aegis on Layla, who may be doing just a little bit of... Hey, ho there, neighbor. Would you like an arc thrower to the face kind of situation? Let's give her the arc thrower. Where is it? Where? There it is. We need to repair the mech with this, too, so it's kind of a double whammy. I like repair, actually. It's been turning out pretty well for me. So Ray is going to get the Carabas armor. Going to get himself some Gauss Rifle, uh, Medikit, and Flashbang. You haven't really had that much use for chems, honestly. It's not been as good. And we're looking not necessarily for captures on the Outsider. Chems don't work on that anyway. Whether we are looking for captures on the Outsider. So you know what? Yeah, I'm going to leave the Flashbangs on, keep the Medkits. Maybe that'll work better. And Ray has Bombard, too, so it's going to be a lot easier. You know, those flashbangs on target if we see uh, Muton Berserkers and Nasty come up. Alright, so we're going to check the kit real quick. Yep. Looks good. Aegis and what I need you to have. Yep, pretty much. I can't wait for tactical rigging. It'll be nice, but we need to see more Muton Elites first for that. I'm in no rush, honestly, to see Muton Elites. I wouldn't mind tack rigging, but it can wait. It's expensive, it requires a lot of meld, and it requires a lot of tech. Okay, this looks pretty good to me. I don't really have a place for the heater, honestly. I do like the heater, but that's kind of spikes. 
little weapon of choice. I may give it to Mammy, in all honesty. His movement's really good, and he could use a longer range gun. So, you know what, Mammy, take the heater. Enjoy. And making sure that's a Gauss long rifle. Beautiful. Okay. I think it's a pretty solid squad. Did we take the Executioner's Scope? Yeah, we did. On Dane, is there any Psychic that needs a better scope still? Doesn't look like it. Not that many Psychic Operators this mission, but we have a mech, so yay. Let's go. Let's see what we've won on this particular particular landing. I'm not entirely certain how that's going to fly yet. But we will get there and we will find that out there. Strike Begin one. the assault. For yeah, let's go. Ah, it's this one. We're heading into China for the next the cryptic Apollo. The downed Excellent. UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. If we can secure the crash site, we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties. Hey, Bradford, what's up? How many aliens are out there, Bradford? There are over 9,000! Or something along those lines, right? No? Maybe? All right. You know, it's actually 8,000 in Japanese translation, I think. Ah, uh, that's pretty funny. Vegeta jokes aside, where the hell are we? Oh, we are out in the middle of East Bumblefuck. Um, okay, we gotta get to trees. And there's lightning. Why is there always lightning? Uh, we are in a corner at least, sort of, but this is not the corner I want to be in. Alright, this could get messy before it gets better. This is not cover. It looks like cover. This berm is not cover. Uh, so this is not great. We need to get to cover ASAP. Where is Mammy? Is there evil close by? I mean, there's always evil close by. It's XCOM, but how close by? I need to get to these trees, and can I do it safely? Looks like I may be able to, honestly. Mammy has low profile, so this is relatively safe for him, actually. Uh, I don't want to move him too far for obvious reasons, but... Looks like we're okay. Yeah, I'm concerned. I don't want to make too many crazy drastic moves right off the bat. Looks like there's nothing out there, though. Mammy would have picked it up on scanners. So I can move my Valkyrie out pretty far. Alright, let's get Meepy on that tree corner. Location I want to hit the trees burned. as soon as possible. We do not want to be caught out in the open if we can avoid it. Yeah, look at Knepst. I mean, normally he's such a sprinter, but he's weighed down with that Titan armor. we got to get Sprinter on him, actually. Then we'll be okay. Let's get him out front, though. Got a lot of hit points for a pretty newbie, so that's that's pretty good. Dane's got the outboard motor of a gun, so we're probably gonna move him. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna take any aggressive too aggressive moves with Mammy. Can we put Dane on that tree and not trigger? We should be okay with that. Yeah, I'm gonna mm, it's risky. But I want him in the front lines. I just hope I don't pick something up. It shouldn't be on the scanners right now. I mean it's we saw nothing. But I just Activations, they just are so tempestuous sometimes. I want to be Heading careful. Cherry's got her low profile, so all is good with the world. Ray's got a support, all is okay. good with that world. And last but not least, Cherry's got her proper rifle now that she has a bit of movement from the Aegis armor. We're going to set okay. up just like this, I think. I don't want to push Mammy too much further forward. I may push him just right here just to see if we pick up anything on the scanners. And it appears we do not. So we're going to overwatch with the folks who are remaining and see what's what. What do we hear? What do we have? Floaters? Mutons? More mutons. So two packs of mutons and floaters. Okay. And thin men. Okay, so it's like four packs, I think. Before we even hit the UFO, this feels like another give me another big mission. Not as big as the last one, obviously, but this one could get messy before it gets easy. Where is Mammy? Oh, Mammy, I need you to spot for me. Uh, he could spot for me from here, honestly. I gotta be a little carezies if I can maybe pick up. I can go here and not take vision. And then see if I can't pick anything up on the battle scanner. I think it's a good idea to at least get one out here. So I know what I'm walking into in the immediate future. Let's do that. That should be a pretty good spot for it. When we block by too many trees, we'll know what's up. It's always in a corner. Yeah, that's better one. Right there. Can we do that? What do we got? Okay, we got it pretty clear. Unless something is directly... I mean, from here, directly west, but looks like we can move up to this position relatively comfortably. 
uh, with her mech as well. Who's gonna need to do some okay, high stepping? Right. Yeah, that's pretty good. I love I love that mech climbing animation. You don't see that very often. Looks really good to me. I don't know. I think they did a great job on it. All right. Yes, yes, commander. commander. Knepst is up. Yeah, there's a little bit of hop and a hop, skipping a jump. Meepy's gonna take the, the full cover here. Obvious reasons. Ray's gonna come here and support All like he does, way. and command from the rear with the gear. Uh, Dane, given that you cannot fire said gun, I do want you on a bigger position. I mean, having him on the tree would probably be smart. I just don't want to block. He can't fire anyway. It looks like there's nothing out there, so let's get Ten Dane four. up there. I don't want to block the entire way up with Knups and Dane. That would be silly. Uh, and then Sugar, yeah, we, let's not block ourselves here. Kaze will probably come right there. Heading to that location. And she's going to follow in Hank's footsteps, hopefully. I'll be becoming a great uh, heat ammo snapshot sniper type person. We can always hope. Solid Everyone can dream. Alright. Alright, we're pretty solid here. I'm going to probably steady on Cherry, or Kaze, uh, and let's overwatch and check it out. What we got? We got Thin Men coming on our position. Uh, yeah, I do. I hear Thin Men hitting our position. I hear floaters as well. None of these things I particularly enjoy to hear. Mutons, yeah. Confirms what we already know. Yeah, that drone in my ear is kind of hurting. Can we move the screen so I don't have to hear that? Thank you. Thin Men do appear to be our closest pack, so we got to take this a little careful. terrain here is not that friendly, but it looks like we're more or less okay in this direction. We're going to use Mammy as our wide-angle scout while we try to prepare for the Thin Men's move against us. I'm going to try to keep okay, things go. more or less copacetic here. They are our closest, but we're not sure which way the meld is. We're not sure where anything is at this point, actually. So again, taking it slow is the most important thing right now, and keeping our front lighters in the front, our back liners in the back and our sniper on a nice elevated platform from which she can wreck fools. Heading there now. Yeah, I love that jump, man. It's just it's such a good animation. That that animation I like and I like the mech scramble animation. Those are probably my two favorites, honestly. Very good looking. They managed to get that going. Just the body mechanics seem 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 correct, right? It doesn't seem like weird. It seem artificial like a weird doll trying to make a move. It actually looks like, you know, it'd actually be clambering up that slope in a giant freaking mech suit. Looks pretty good. I digress, though. Artistic merits of XCOM aside, uh, this mission, right? We got a mission to do. Let's not screw around. Obviously, this is like acid bait. We're going to have to clearly spread the hell out from this. But at the moment, we're doing okay. Dane's the only one who's not going to move right now and set up his giant gun. Everyone else, really, there's no point not to do anything else but steady and overwatch. So we're going to get hit by those guys at some point. Thin men are still closest. Remember, the UFO is right around there. All right, we're hearing all the oral cues. Yes, indeed. We don't see any meld either, and it's probably by the UFO. Ah, there it is. But now we don't have the oral cues from the Thin men anymore. So what do we got out here? Our mech will tell us. Answer is not much, but there is a meld. So we're going to try to push for that meld. Uh, we were going to maybe wait for the Thin men to hit us, but they're not close to us anymore, allegedly. So we're going to take the advantage, we're going to take the initiative, and use our mech to pull forward, use our scout to pull forward, and maybe figure out where the hell that meld is these days. But it does seem to be over here, so we're going to jump into the forest here, away from the UFO. We're going to circle back to that. If we can get a meld out of this mission, I'd be very happy. I'm on the move. That would make my day. Uh, we're going to keep moving like this. Dane, we're going to try to leapfrog from cover to cover, because he's the guy who can't really move that giant gun too easy. Put Dane in this cover here. Running. To watch we trigger something in that corner. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, there's always a risk when you do that, but you know what? It's okay. Uh, let's get corner cover for Cherry. Running. And we'll try to get her on as high ground as possible to get these shots off that we're going to need her to make. Uh, Rocketeer can go here, what aye with aye, the commander. fire in the hole promotion. And the rest of us will keep up a nice okay. perimeter while we push on toward the meld. And well, we may make contact, we may make not. Uh, hopefully not. Hope we can get this mail before we make contact. We'll see what happens. What we got? 
Yeah, Thin Men are kind of tracking us, honestly, it looks like. And yeah, that's not cool. It's going to be difficult to get close range over here in a pitch fire fight with Thin Men. With the two-height wall that we've got. So if I can avoid contact with them, that'd be great. I also need to figure out where the hell the meld is. It's in this area. We saw the queue. We need to get some more intel. Mammy, can you provide that, please? Can you please provide the intel on the meld? There it is. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any aliens in the area either. That looks like that may be a meld container right there, actually. Can we do that without triggering something? Looks like we can. There doesn't seem to be anything out there. We're going to probably push our mech out to do this. Which way do you need to go to do that? All right. I'm probably going to take... I can't get it this turn regardless. What I'm likely going to do is I'm going to move my mech out here so you can get it next turn. Please don't trigger the Thin Men that we keep hearing. We're good. Do so we have moved there? We have moved there next turn. Perfect. Okay. That's what we're going to take with the meld. We're going to keep setting up here and hopefully take advantage of this high position to... Uh, this is the nearest pack we hear out there, so we're going to set up in a high position to get ready for what's going to be incoming. Because we know it's Thin Men, we know they're relatively close, and we're going to make them suffer for it. Meepy's in a good spot for his rocket. I think there's plenty of range. Uh, Layla, yeah, let's keep kind of shooting over. There's not going to be a lot of cover here in the direction I'm aiming. I want to get Knups down here. Because he may need to run around here and get flanks on stuff. Uh, Kaze probably is fine where she is, more or less. I may want to push her out here so she just shots around that tree. Right there. I'm on the move. Have her steady. Ray, just come up and support for Ray now. Cover. We'll see what we need eventually do with these troops. Ray will probably pull back because he's not the one wearing Aegis. Sugar is wearing Aegis, so she may be the I'm one on taking the this tree with grenades to clear up the uh, Thin Men sl spots, slots, I guess. But Cherry, steady that weapon and stay way the hell back. Everyone else just wait for the Thin Men. Maybe we'll get some meld out of this yet. I don't know. Let's see. Because they are straight up, apparently. They are straight up. Yeah, we've still got floaters. And if they're of the heavy variety, we could be in a lot of trouble. Still here in all four varieties of packs. Two Mutons, a Thin Man. There we go. And that floater pack. We're going to at least get this meld, and we'll see what contact we make after that. We'll readjust and realign as necessary. All right, that's uh, anticlimactic, but we got ourselves a meld. Eighteen, l'objet capturé, and we have an easy way up this particular incline with our mech. If we had the jump boots, we'd be able to jump up there, but we don't. We're building that, so that'll be the next mech variety. Uh, for now, though, all right, we look pretty okay with our movement, and looks like not much is being triggered. So what do we do best here? I think maybe move our Rocketeer up here. I'm rolling. If possible. Yep, there we go. So he'll have a steady rocket and whatever's up on that hill. Dane is doing fine. We could probably move Cherry over here. She has easier shots on everything. I want to make sure she's just got unobstructed view. Trees can get in the way of that. In that sense, maybe she's just really good where she is. The trees can get in the way of that, too. I'm probably going to leave Cherry where she is unless I see... Uh, floaters come by. They can jetpack and ruin our day. So let's go here on Knups. Tracking. Ray. Uh, come back here, I guess. I mean, I could put him on this corner. I haven't triggered anything yet, so I don't need to really stay to cover this badly, but I just, I'm concerned. I am duly concerned about what may hit us at some point. We just can't seem to get around here with with uh, Ray. I gotta be a little careful with that. If we do get hit by something, uh, I may want to keep Sugar over here, just a little tighter on, because I'll be able to get to this tree and toss grenades if I need to. I'm just kind of plan ahead here. All right, Dane, Overwatch here. Sugar, Overwatch there. Ray, I guess. Over yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I was gonna say, oh, maybe I should move. Mammy up, but with Sugar where she is, she's easily flankable. Let's take one move at least. Okay, nothing. It's hard to see over that double height berm. All right, well, I guess it's going to be another play a game of hide and go find with the uh, aliens here. We keep hearing them, but we don't see them. They're still allegedly over there. I mean, I don't know where, but they're still allegedly over there. And they're on an 
kind of a quasi-elevated position, which is not great for Thin Men, because they have... There we go. We're gonna have contact in a second. How do we see that? No, how did I see that? Do we have a battle scan up there or something? Okay. Looks like Thin Men are in that little gully. It's gonna be hard to get at them, unless we don't drop in there and really commit. So we may wait till they come. They seem to be patrolling this way, so we may just lay in wait here and see what they do. Uh, but I am probably going to have to call it there, guys. This episode has been moving, and I will see you next time as we probably make first contact with the Thin Men. See what we can do. All right. I'm a nurse. We got some alloys. We got some equipment, supplies, and we were going to keep the fight coming to the alien threat. I'll see you all next time. Till then.